Hello, I am Martin Fenska and welcome to another part of Let's Play Darkest Dungeon. In the previous part, we got uh, our most experienced heroes very close to level 5 and that means uh, now it's time to give them a break, uh, remove some of their negative quirks they got during, during the veteran runs and also diseases. And I also said uh, that um, uh, it's time to create another group and ask you guys if you have any ideas what we could try so we are not doing always the same thing. And there wasn't any uh, like uh, exact uh, composition you'd like to see, uh, but um, I like the 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 idea that I that the, that the group basically is do anything you want, but don't include Vestal and the Jester. I kind of like that. Uh, this uh, uh, limits me quite a lot because I probably over rely on Jesters and Vestals. <clears throat> So now I have to start thinking like what are we gonna do, how are we gonna build a group without, basically without healers. We still could uh, go with uh, uh, occultist as a healer and I'm considering that, but uh, <clears throat> I'd rather try a group without the classic healer, just have some classes that can self heal or maybe heal other people a little bit. Uh, and for that uh, I definitely need uh, uh, Plague Doctor and uh, Arbalest. I'm not saying that they will 100% be in the group, but I want to have the option to uh, to include them if uh, like if they fit in. And I have a feeling that at least one of them will make it to the group. And that means um, uh, we have to level them up. I talked about this already in the previous party that most likely we're gonna uh, get back to apprentice runs uh, for a while, just quickly get these two to level three and also then we'll have, th have to think about how to get uh, uh, the abomination to level three because I like it more and more. The more I use it off camera, the more I like it. It's quite a reliable uh, stun bot with a cell of heal uh, on in the second position. <clears throat> Excuse me. So maybe the abomination could make it as well to a, a veteran group. But uh, we'll see about that. So what I did off camera, I got rid of uh, the level 2 Vestal that we had and uh, <clears throat> hired the Manet Arms. So now we have a decent uh, composition tank of tank, uh, basically a stun bot in the Plague Doctor and uh, pure DPS. A little bit of healing uh, on the third, po third, not third, fourth position uh, from the Arbalest. I kind of like the group. Uh, this is... Uh, how the veteran group actually could look like, could look like we have ton of stuns here, so that might work. But we'll see about that. And that's the group we're going to be using today. I had to upgrade uh, both uh, the plague doctor and uh, the arbalest, and also I changed uh, bolster for uh, rampart. So I paid quite a bit before uh, this run, and I also sent. Uh, where is it? Gray and clean champs, uh, the treatment ward, them removing uh, Ruminator and uh, Weak Grip of Life. I talked about this in the previous part as well. Uh, I'm preparing these guys for a veteran boss runs, so I want to get uh, rid of as many negative things as I can. Uh, for uh, veteran bosses, it, every small thing can already be like important. Uh, so I'm willing to invest uh, into uh, into these things. Hopefully, other people, other groups can uh, like make the money, so we can pay uh, for the treatment. Uh, I ended up with uh, like thirty-nine thousand, so minus like eleven thousand compared to what we had. Uh, uh, when we finished previous part, but then I sold some trinkets because we had some trinkets like three times So I just went through all the trinkets that we had and sold some so we basically have the same amount of gold as we ended up with so that's just the explanation uh, How I was able to upgrade uh, so many people and still have the same amount of gold and I think uh, we can uh, stop talking and finally do something so the goal uh, we're going to wield uh, uh, 
Uh, it's not a bad brown. We can get deeds. We still need those. Uh, evasion incense. I'm not sure that we have this one. And this one is not that bad for a cultist. That I dodge is quite a quite a lot, especially for a, a common trinket. So yeah, we might even end up using it. I'm not sure which trinkets we have for your cultist though. So I'm not sure. But I'd like to have every trinket once. So we really can choose whatever we want. Uh, and uh, before we get to provisions, let's quickly go through the group. Um, abilities for it, the Arbalest, the Sniper Shot is the main uh, DPS ability. I'm taking the Sniper's Mark, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it uh, when uh, uh, I don't have any other hero that would benefit from that, but um, if I make a group with an Arbalest, it's probably gonna be a group focused uh, on... Uh, marking targets and then doing the extra damage so in the end i'd end up using it anyway so i upgraded this ability and keep it then bola mainly for mainly because this is the only skill a reliable skill that can hit the first position uh, that our ballast has so that's the reason for that and battlefield bandage is uh, some kind of healing uh that's the strongest heal that we have so uh, shouldn't complain about it. It's not that bad. It could work quite well on the Abomination uh, when it boosts the healers received. The Abomination has a self heal, so why not? Uh, trinkets. I just try to boost the, the offensive capabilities as much as possible, so Ancestor Scandal for extra damage and speed. Uh, and uh, Sun Ring with the damage and accuracy. Uh, the Plague Doctor, uh, what else uh, could Plague Doctor have than uh, Blight and Stuns? So here is the AoE Stun. Uh, this is uh, a Stun with Shuffle and that clears corpses. Both are quite decent. I'm not 100% sure about this one, if this one is gonna make it to like the veteran version. But for now I want to at least try it and then two, uh, two Blight skills, pretty strong ones. So definitely want to take both. Uh, for trinkets, uh, Blasphemous Wild, this overpowered crazy trinket for a Plague Doctor, with accuracy 40% to stun skill chances is insane, and 20% uh, Blight skill, I'm not, not gonna complain about it either. We're gonna need it, that's uh, the reason why I took a Blight Amulet as well. Uh, in uh, Wield, there are quite a few mobs that are resistant to Blight, so this extra chance um, is gonna help a lot. Abomination... Uh, I wasn't sure here, so I just took Restraining Padlock, in case we have to transform and Bloodthirst Drain to reduce the food consumption and uh, extra hit points is uh, useful as well. don't like the minus dodge, but well, I think it's fine. And um, to the front line. I actually realized that we don't have uh, any trinkets that uh, would fit the role of the men at arms. Uh, I support the uh, tank, utility tank. It's not the classic uh, uh, flat damage hero, you know, to have in the first line just uh, hitting hard uh, every turn. Here, it's. I don't know what to, what to think about Man at Arms. I've been thinking about him for quite a while, still not sure. I'm even thinking about moving him back on veteran level for it buffs. But for now, we can have him in the front line just as, as a meat shield, basically. That's why I gave him uh, the Ancestor's Bottle for extra hit points. And the second trinket, I really didn't know. Uh, he already had 48 hit points, so I just went for the stress reduction. Abilities. Uh, Something to do damage with uh, Rampart, another stun ability, that's uh, what I wanted, so we now can stun any mob in the group, we can stun any position now. Uh, Defender, almost a must-have, I would say, like the main strength of, uh, uh, of the Man at Arms. And the Command, I'm not sure if you're gonna use this, but I think this skill has a potential uh, with the extra crit chance, so I'm taking this one as well. Okay, this is the target, and we can get provisions. That's gonna be 12 food for a short run. Uh, let's take 3 shovels. 
two, uh, not this one. Two and two. I think just one key should be enough. And let's take ten torches. It's just a short run. Be nice if we could get like a long apprentice run. That would be perfect. Okay, so we have food, we have torches, we have shovels. Uh, and diamond, I think two are enough. And one key. Yeah, let's do it. I'm preparing for this as if it was like a champion boss run. <clears throat> I knew all these paths once. Okay, now we have a wheeled explorer, so hopefully we get uh, some scouting. And how's this gonna work? Hmm, I definitely want to make sure the spider can't do anything. So let's stun him. And what else? Um, six hit points. This should be enough to kill one maggot. I'm gonna target the first one. And this was what. what I was hoping for it, that the Arbalest goes before this one dies. But on the other hand, maybe you can hit both? How much damage would that be? Oh, let's try it. Might be able to kill both. With impunity. And finish the spider back to the pit. Well, well, that was probably as easy as it gets. I'm not gonna test the group on an army like that. Oh, you managed to dodge the trap, good. And I think we can use one shovel. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Okay, torch up must be carried and on. keep going. Oh, I sh damn it! They surprised us. This could be annoying. But what I wanted to say was uh, I should have taken a uh, holy water for this. Ah, uh, that was remove a negative quirk. Never mind. So how are we gonna do this? Uh, I think just uh, stun the spitter again. Oh. What about you? I'd like to move him back. I'll just go for a stun again. Okay. And now we move forward. Try to kill something. Uh, I think... I prefer Another single target this time to make sure one spitter is down. And the other one as well. Okay, now it looks better. Um, the only thing you can do is just move forward. Oh, dodged. Perfect. Finish the fight as fast as possible. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Okay, good. Oh, and we found the holy water. Well, that's not bad. Okay, quirks. What do we have? Hmm, this is tempting. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. Warren's phobe removed. That's what I wanted. Nice. That saved us like 4,000. And scouting. Yeah, well, can't see much now. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have to explore 90% rooms. I think we just uh, check what uh, the curio is and then we backtrack. Because I don't want to waste the shovel for no reason.
Okay, we don't even have to get to the carcass. So, come on. I don't want the stress from backtracking. Get into the room. No. That was only five stress. Another carcass. That's exactly what I want to see. Okay, another grave. This could be risky, but I'm willing to try. Just. It's fine. Littering Especially gold. when we get uh, a thousand in gold and gems. Paid for in blood. Okay, now we just have to hope that we don't get into too many obstacles. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. And there is worst. <sighs> come on, come on, come on, game. Nature herself. Don't punish my greed. That's what corruption. this game is ab about. The greed. With misintent. Well, no enemies so far. This is fine. And this fight shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, I think I want to stun one cutthroat. You can try and kill. Decimated. Oh, that was a nice hit with all the stress heals. And um, stun the second cut through as well. Good. Now here we do some damage to the first guy. Try to stun him as well. Oh, didn't work for the second time, and uh, this is why I wasn't hitting the uh, the other one. I'm leaving that to the arbalist. Ah, oh, come on. Expected more. Uh, well, let's just go for the blight. That should do the trick. And we dodge the one attack that we're gonna take. Okay. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Now, here we need bandages. West and more gems. Wow, it's 1500. I get a lot of gems this time. Okay, now, I think I want to avoid uh, the Mark Prey. So let's try to stun one artillery. Maybe I should have left this uh, for the Plague Doctor. I didn't realize that. I'm not used to having AoE stun. Oh, I'm gonna use it anyway. Okay, now they are both stunned. Mm. Eradicated. Try to kill one. And. Stun one Grappler? Scratcher, are they called? Just trying to avoid as many attacks as possible. Now, let's get another stun. And I hope we can kill the artillery before he can do anything, but I doubt that. Yeah, I don't have enough damage. Um, what's the stun resist? Come on. 65, 65, with the 40% uh, the stun chance, we should be able to stun them again. Yep, that worked. Okay. I'll just hit something, I don't know, this guy. Hmm. 
105 percent is probably too much let's just uh, go for the damage okay the artillery is basically dead so we can do some damage to the scratcher try to stun this one again and we need to do 40 damage and as long as we hit it should be enough okay so they can't do anything this turn again this is how life is taken how many attacks did they get like one and the crit in the end to reduce the stress a little bit oh and we found the shovel Good loot. This time we are lucky with loot. We don't have to worry about uh, obstacles anymore. Mm. Let's check the chest. Wasn't trapped. And another Time shovel. Okay. Task well performed. And scouting on top of that. Hmm. How does it look like without trap skill? Wow, Plague, Plague Doctor has a high skill, really. Okay. Mm, this needs the second bandage. Perfect. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. And we still have three torches, so in radiance may we, we can burn find one victory. But does it just seem to me, or is this uh, dungeon just empty? As were three fights, two of them just few spiders. About you should be enough. Yep. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Well, I'm gonna just go without uh, the light we can get five gold back from unburned torches and now yeah, let's get back paths and roads bring soldiers and supplies Let okay at least we didn't get uh, uh, any stress so we can use the group again I was afraid that uh, we may end up with a lot of stress with this group and just uh, uh, just uh, uh, wouldn't be able to use the group again and again. I would like to get them to level 3 as fast as possible. Uh, okay, so how does it look like? 6,000, 9,000? Oh, not that bad. For a run where there was basically nothing in the dungeon, I uh, probably shouldn't complain. Okay, anything interesting? Coast Ranger, why not? And Fated. It's decent. Hemophilia sucks, but for now we can uh, just run with that. The bleed resist. Well, I think you can even heal bleed. Right? Let me check. Once our estate was um, the envy of this land. Can this. No, it can't heal bleed. Because of the picture, I always think that uh, Battlefield Bandage should be capable of healing bleed. What about you? You can heal bleed and blight. Maybe I should take the medicine just to heal those uh, those bleeds and blights. But I don't know what um, I'd leave behind. One of the few heroes where I wouldn't mind taking more than four abilities. Usually it's hard to take four that are useful, but in this case, 
like six would be the ideal number. The one I don't care about this incision. Okay, uh, one more run. Let's see what we have available. Hmm. The long run came a bit too early. Yes, if um, it was like a short run, then we would uh, get these two very close to level 3 and the Abomination would most likely uh, hit level 2 as well. And then how much is that? 6 experience from a long run. So one long run is enough to get from level 2 to level 3. Like this we're gonna be missing two experience on the Abomination. Hmm. It's very tempting to go for it the long run. And what do we have? Uh, sun cloak, protection if torch bus dodge above 75. Uh, I think we have to do it. Like the sun cloak is just too good, but it um, it's gonna have to be a very very fast run. Okay, we don't um, do anything in town. We have the trinkets that we need, uh, so we just get the provisions, uh, food. Uh, Let's take like 26 shovels, we take 4. Uh, we don't need bandages, we don't need anti-venom um, herbs, we can ignore as well. Let's take 4 keys, uh, 3 keys maybe, and holy water 3 times as well. Uh, let's take 4 and 4, and for a long run, 22 torches. Something like this, we have shovels, we have food, we have torches, holy water, keys, let's go. It sucks that we won't be able to get the abomination to level 3 at the same time as the other two, but well, I just have to do it, the, the loot is way too good. What's the goal, by the way, here? Explore 90 percent rooms. Okay. Let's see how we're gonna do against Undead. Uh, I think we start with an attack, try to kill the courtier. Didn't work. Hmm. I think I want to make sure he goes down. Press Don't want to stress. Give them no quarter. Ow. Okay, where is the stun? Here, I want to stun this guy. And... Let's go for the Bone Soldier. Another one it's the most dangerous unit right now. Or unit, mob. Uh, go for another stun. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. It's the only ability that can do some damage, so let's just use it and finish him off. The okay, falls, good. A faint hope blossoms. The promise of safety. Oh, and the fight just popped up here. And not an easy one. At least they surprised them. Okay. Um, stun at least three of them. Um, that works. Now 
now you will take care of the madman or just take him as low as possible so we can finish damn it i wanted to say we can finish him off didn't quite work that well that way and we got crit uh, ah come on now are we fast enough to go before they can do anything um, Kill the madman, still the highest priority. Destroy them all. What's the stun resist? 145, really? Hmm. Okay, in that case, I just go for some damage. You managed to dodge the stress. Uh, kill it. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. And let's try to get rid of these two before they can crit again. Um, sure, why not? Formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Now here, I think I'll go for the heal. That works. Okay. More food, more shovels. I think four shovels is enough. And I have a feeling this is gonna be very long, a long part. Spend a long time talking before we start the first run, and it seems that uh, this round won't be as fast as I hoped. Um. This needs herbs, I think, so we just uh, keep going. We are not getting like easy opponents. Um, hmm. Okay, I hope that the uh, uh, the, the plague doctor goes before uh, the acolyte and the courtier. It worked. Executed with impunity. And you are gonna try to do at least something. Didn't quite work. Okay, more stress. Hmm. Let's uh, stun the acolyte again. So the soldier is dead, and what about you? Kill the acolyte. And we can try to stun the brawler. Okay, from now on they shouldn't be able to do anything. Is the weapon that cuts on its own. Be nice to get some crits to reduce the stress. Really can't do much about stress. Oh, and he can attack once. Oh, I'll just kill him. Oh, and there is the crit. Well, at least something. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can what now? be beaten. Um, you can throw away the end time, and I'm not gonna need that. And of course it's trapped. Okay. And I'm thinking we could probably use uh, uh, one uh, camp early on, make some room in the inventory. We have some damage and stress that we can heal, so it's not a wasted camp. And we can also get some buffs from this. Um, dodge crit. Sure. A buff that uh, helps the whole group. It's definitely worth it now. Uh, protection and damage. This one is quite expensive for just a self buff. But it's really strong. What 
else do we have? Pulse for speed, uh, extra damage, increased stress by 20, don't want to do that. Uh, remove blind bleed, not really. Heals all companions, plus 2 speed, and that is nice, because for us the plan is to stun everything before they can uh, act, so the extra speed would be useful. Let's do it. And go for the maintenance equipment as well. Or no 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 wait wait wait. All companions plus ten percent damage or and crit chance. Yeah, let's do this one. That's a ton of buffs. Okay, with one point, you can't do anything, so just rest. And we the didn't get ambushed. Lit. Good. The path is clear. And this you is a good place where we get scouting. There is a secret room. Um, let's just go this way. Okay, so now we're gonna test our bombs. We surprise them, so how much damage can we do? Um, let's go for a stun there. Go with the blight. You are gonna stun, hopefully, the big guy. Or not. And, well, trying to get rid of the fusilier. But, it um, sucks that we are not able to stun the bloodletter. Just counting on that, and this could hurt. Oof. We have to stun him. Good. And now we don't have to worry about them anymore. Um, which one? I'll probably go for the flood damage. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Mm -hmm. and now we just go for it. the damage. And he's down. Size alone does Expected not um, the bit more blade. with all those bombs. Let's see. Does anybody need, need healing? Here we can use some food, throw the rest away and take emeralds. Can we do this? I of course want to go into the secret room. Maybe I just uh, leave it for now and go there later when we use more of our provisions. Because the secret room needs always uh, a lot of inventory space. Whatever. Actually, that was a mistake. I should have um, uh, poisoned this one. He can kill the first two. I like that uh, they would all be dead already. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Okay, what about this one? I think this heals stress with the holy water. Or we get just another buff. 
Okay, it would be better on someone else, but I really thought that it's gonna reduce the stress. Or is it this one that reduces the stress? I think this, it's this one. Um, mm. Okay. Start with the stun. And what now? Trying to get the kill here. Annihilated. And the soldier is next. Stun the brawler, and I really want the plague doctor to go now. Or the air blast is used as well. Obliterated. Wanted to clear all the corpses and get the herbalist, I mean, the just this guy closer, but killing him is probably better. And a nice crit. Seize this momentum. Push okay, on to the uh, task since you don't have a stress, I think we could try it with the men at arms. This uh, could heal the bleed. And scouting again. Got lucky with scouting this time. We have almost the whole map revealed already. Mm -hmm. We can throw away torches. For now, I'm gonna take the citrine. Probably end up throwing that away. But, uh, well, for now we can take it, so why not? We'll have to backtrack a lot. Since we have to explore 90% of all rooms. For a task well performed. Please don't trigger it, never mind. Watch and that's really hurt. Oh, there are some more rooms above these. I thought that's all. Well, it's a long run, so I shouldn't be surprised that. It actually is long. In radiance, may we find victory. Oh, there are like five more rooms at least. Okay, so let's go there. Then we go this way, and uh, the last thing we do is the secret room. Gold, trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. Okay, what do we have? We have to stun these two as fast as possible. But I'm again gonna rely on the Plague Doctor. Okay, I could stun the Defender as well, but I'd rather do some damage. Please kill it. Good. Now, you have seven hit points. Hmm. You have seven as well. Okay, so this should be a kill. Ah, oh, come on. 
that um, didn't quite work as expected. Okay, so now we can just um, stun the defender. Don't have to worry about the madman. Um, okay. Gently. Now the arbalest. We have to heal that. Don't miss. Good. And now the blind is enough. Can we heal? We can. Let's uh, heal the plague duck there. Now what now? Victory. This is but gonna be a bit tricky. Um, we don't need bandages. I want to take the gold. We should be able to take busts. And I think I'm gonna throw away the citrine now and take deeds instead because we still need a ton of those. That wasn't that bad. Okay, keep going. Um, here we need a key. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. And three portraits, that's something I don't want to leave behind. But we can't afford to throw away torches yet. Can we? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, we can. We just have to camp when the light is around like 50%. That would mean extra two torches. Okay, let's use one. As Throw the them away. Gains purchase, and um, there's a good chance that we get like clear. one extra torch somewhere. And this altar. Perfect. We can remove another quirk. Um, and the usual tactics. Try to stun everything. I'm surprised that we are not able to stun the soldier. Where is the AoE stun? Here. Oh, nice grip. So I'll just kill the soldier. And now we try to kill the arbalist before he can do damage. Six more. Can we do enough with the stun? Nope. But we managed to stun him, that works as well. Um Just wait a bit, kill the rebel first. Oh, really? He goes first? Well, that was unexpected. Mm. Let's try to heal. Here we can remove the stress. Heal the plague doctor, at least for four. And where is it? Uh, this is what I want. And a crit. Nice. Okay, but I really didn't expect that uh, uh, the Airballs gets another action. This expedition at least promises uh, success. What now? We have some more food. But I don't think that uh, we'll be able to take uh, the Jade with us. No, you could throw away the bloodied fetish, but I have a feeling that this one costs uh, 1100, so it's not worth it. The value of the slot is higher with the trinket than uh, four jades, which is the maximum size of a stack. So I think I'll leave the jade behind. And guilty conscience, we can remove. Good. That saved us a lot of money. I 
Never mind, one of the few corridors that we don't have explored, of course, that, of course it has to have a trap. And I'm thinking, we just don't use torches now and camp in this room. It's um, gonna be quite a lot of extra stress from walking in the darkness. I think we'll be fine. <sighs> okay. Uh, how are we gonna do it? Well, do you approach? But, I didn't realize that they are faster now when we are... Uh, we have a low light level. Okay, so we took one hit from the courtier. Hmm. Okay, I have to take them down. There'll be too much stress with the light this low. And now the rebel. That shouldn't be a problem. Oh, really? Okay, well, I'll just buff up someone. Come on, die already. There we go. Um, Be wary. And Try again, we can't take everything out. I think we have to leave all these things behind now. Don't like leaving portraits, but here we don't have a choice. Packs laden with loot oh. are often low on supplies. Okay. One holy water, I think it's something we can sacrifice. And now we can camp. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable. Yeah, how much stress do we have? We Rats still have quite a lot maze. of stress. So this time probably heal at least some of it. Um Oh, we're definitely using tactics. That's just way too good. Oh, can we even remove the stress? We can't. Never mind. I'll just buff up everyone as much as possible. Get the same buffs as before. And rest. The match is Good. struck. A blazing star is born. Please don't trigger it. Okay, that was minus eight stress, that works. And again, the same strategy, let's just go as fast as possible. This is really getting too long. Um, it's a good round, don't take me wrong, but uh, a bit too long. I think we still need the stun on the occultist. Eight hit points, um, hmm. I 
think it's better to try the stun again. Nope, didn't work. Can we kill her? Perfect. And just do as much damage as possible with the air ballast. So I managed to remove the stress uh, just uh, with crits, that works as well. As uh, okay, so now, no I don't think we need all this food anymore, so let's eat all we can. Throw the rest away and take the jade for now, I think I'm gonna just throw it away after I open this chest, but... If only treasure yep. could staunch the flow of what do we want? otherworldly corruption. Deeds, probably, but we can take those. And busts? I think I'm gonna throw away the citrine. So that's busts, that's deeds. We can't stack these up, nope. And we leave crest behind. And scouting again, perfect. So how are we gonna do it? Mm. I'd like to full clear this dungeon. And now we know the whole, whole dungeon. So... I think we don't have to worry about traps anymore. Strike. Come on, kill them, let's keep going. It kind of sucks that we have this fight here. Ghoulish because uh, that uh, driven into the mud. decreased the duration of all boss, just wasted uh, one fight basically. This one is good. Uh, where is the AoE here? They are this fast. We have the speed buff, and they still go before our heroes. And we can't kill a courtier. Come on. Oh man. Where is the AoE here? This should be enough for both of them. Is this enough? It is. So we can heal a bit. Here we can heal the stress. It's not much, but uh, he's dead anyway, so why not? Heal the Crusader, I mean Crusader, uh, Men at Arms. And now we don't have anything else to do, so I'll just finish the fight. Success so clearly in view. Okay, we can leave these behind. The and. Another chest. What do we want? We can take money and gems, throw away this jade and take busts again. I think that, that is okay. Okay, this we don't have um, holy water anyway, so I'll just keep going. Uh, torch. Okay, 
this looks easy. So you can ju just stun this guy and the rest we can kill. <laughs> that was a nice crit. Okay, die. That's a lot of money. I have no idea how we're gonna take all of it. We have to keep the key for the secret room. Um, we shouldn't need shovels anymore. I'm not going this way. So we can throw them away. So that's 1500. It's st still not enough. Maybe you could just throw away torches. It's like two corridors, three corridors, and two rooms. There is one fight. Okay. We can even skip the fight if we want to. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Okay, this um, should complete the quest. But we definitely keep going. And now, do we go down and enter the room from this side? Or do we go for one more fight? I think I don't want to risk more stress. You won't be able to take the loot anyway. Let's just go down, avoid the fight. We have the quest done. Just want to full clear it, but whatever. Uh, please. Don't trigger it. Good. And to get to the secret room quickly. I hope there is uh, no fight there. Okay. And what do we have? Uh, seven and a half thousand gold. So how are we gonna do this? Mm, we can throw away the food. And we have to throw away one more thing. I think the gold. Do we have any provisions left that we could throw away? Um... This is the lowest value that we have. And we leave 50 gold behind. Okay, and now we can finish the run. The great ruins belong to us. And we so how much did we get? Whatever secrets they hold. So 25,000? That's not bad. Together with the sun cloak, ton of heirlooms. 12, how many busts? 16 busts? Wow. Here we have 9 deeds. That was a bloody good run. And here, of course, we have those level ups. Warrior of Light. That's good. And Flawed Release. Or Flawed Release. Uh, minus 3% crit for rain skills. I think I still want to have the crit as high as possible, even though the, the direct damage is not that high, but it reduces stress every time uh, we crit, so I'm gonna remove this, and plus 5 accuracy is good. The plume and the pistol. Okay. A fitting end to my um, folly. I think this part is uh, real, way too fall. long right now, so I'm not even gonna check the usual things. I'm just gonna finish it here. Um, it was too long, but I think it was a good one. We did a long run without um, a healer, without the jester to heal stress. It still worked, so something like this is definitely gonna work for a better in the run. I just have to made some adjustments. I don't think that the Arbalest is the ideal uh, hero for the fourth position, but I'm gonna think about it off camera. And I hope you like this part. Join me for the next one again, and until then, have a good time. Bye-bye!